So this video is going to teach you how to take sports photos. First I'll be showing you good examples of sports photos and then I will teach you how to take them. This is a good sports photo because it shows the athlete in action. This is another good shot because as well it shows the athlete in action and you can see the ball is in the picture. This is another great shot because it shows the athlete in action and it shows the water and his sport. This swimmer is in action and you can tell his stroke. This swimmer is getting ready to swim and you can tell his stance is nice. This is a good stroke because you can see him and in competitive okay that wasn't said right but you know what I meant this picture is good because it shows the swimmer swimming and how fast the stroke is it's kind of hard but it's a good picture this is a good picture because you can see the ball you can see our team all in stance and it looks very nice this you can see the ball right here and he's getting ready to serve the ball maybe this is good because he's getting ready to hit the ball and you can see. This is good because our players are all ready and they're all focused. All these pictures are going to be used somewhere so you want our, our team to look good and doing something good so you can see all our team is ready. This shows a player in play and you can see that we are winning so that's another good thing. This is a player in play as well. This is a player running the ball. And this is, a pl this is a picture of the team, and they're all looking like a good, fun team. Okay, well, you saw some good examples of sports photos. Now I'll give you some tips on taking them. So this is pretty much saying that just to try something different, so you don't have to always be eye level. You can crouch on the ground, or you can do it from behind, or you can take the picture laying on the ground, shooting up, or whatever you can just do, but it has to like, make it creative, because who wants a picture that's always the same in every single sport. Don't forget to take pictures of the surroundings like when you're at a basketball game you can look at the court so you can see the people in the stands and their spirit and like the true fans and things like that. You never know where you're gonna have to run to or go to for a sporting event so you're gonna have to be prepared with an equipment bag or belt so just to like throw your camera in if you have to run or to hold something really fast just so you can do it really fast because you can't stop a play you just have to keep going the term chimp chimping means that you check your photo every time you take it so that's bad because it takes your eye off of what's happening and you could get hurt if the if you're at a basketball game or something and a ball hits you or you could miss a good shot or something good that happens in the game so you always have to keep your eye on what's going on Depending on where you're at, you should try not to use the flash because it could mess up the player's eyes. If they see the flash, it could distract them or take their mind off of what they're doing and it'll just cause problems. You should always take a lot of shots of one thing and check the pictures later because if one of them is bad, if you take a lot, you'll know in the end you will have one good one. Rather than if you just take one, check it, take one, check it, you might not have as many as you could have if you just take a lot. You should always set up your camera and make sure everything is okay before you take the pictures. Make sure your battery is full because if not, then you just wasted your time by going. And if this is the last game or something, things could go wrong. So you should always check your camera and make sure everything is okay before you get there and practice a few times at home maybe just to make sure that everything is okay. This is an interesting photo because you can see that this is going on and it's kind of crazy but that's how sports are. This is a good picture because you can see like you can see the ball, you can see what's going on. This is a good shot because you can see his facial expression, you can see the ball, you can see him in action. This is a good shot because you can see how fast everything happens and they probably took a lot of pictures when they did take this picture. This picture is good because you can see the ball, the base, and the two teams. If you've ever taken or tried to take a picture of people jumping, we all know how hard it is to get it at the exact moment. See, even right here, it's still kind of bad because she didn't get up off the ground when everybody else did. So you should take a lot of pictures to get one good one. 
I honestly think that swimming is the hardest to take pictures for because everything is happening so fast and it's hard to get a perfect picture. Like this one is pretty good, this one is good, but even their face is kind of embarrassing, but you can't really help it. This is a good picture because you can see his reflection, you can see his stroke, you can see everything. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is a great one because you can see the fly stroke. I think this is the easiest picture to take because this is like every stroke, this is what it is. Freestyle is hard to take pictures for because their face is underwater a lot of the time and if it's not underwater, they come up for a very quick breath and then they go right back down into the water. I think that that concludes the video and now that you're going to have to do an assignment based on what you just learned in the video. Okay, so this shouldn't be too hard. Your assignment is going to be pick out 10 good pictures and 10 bad pictures and give two reasons why they are either good or why they are either bad. And turned into your teacher. This is an example of a bad sports picture because as you can see she's not really paying attention and she's kind of posing for something but not a good yearbook picture. This is a good example of where you have to take a lot of good shots because you can tell how the boys come through and that's good. These are good pictures because it shows what the, what the cheerleaders did for the football players. It shows them being happy and also it shows the boys running through and that's good and them cheering. This is a good picture because you can see he's ready for the play but you cannot see the ball so how do you know he's not just waving at somebody. This picture you can see he's in action but once again there's no ball. See here's a ball but it's on the other team but you can see this player being defensive. These are good pictures because they're ready to catch the rebounded ball. And this is a good picture because you can see him kicking, the ball is in action. I'm not going to give you all the examples, so I think that sums this video up. Enjoy!